Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Ellery here. We are at a photography studio getting ready to do our first far away from as bootleg as we can possibly do <laughs> photo shoot. Last time it was just me and, what was it? Me and Ebony behind the camera? Yep. And people had chicken bones and it got real, you, we're trying to upgrade the budget. I was a photography. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I'll leave you the info where this photography photography studio is because it's actually a really great price and it's just a great amount enough of space to do what you need to do and go. Which is why I'm talking so fast because we only got less than three hours now at this point because she said we got to go when our time is up. So we need everybody to be on their best behavior. You're going to be our little assistant. Thank you. No talking, just helping. We're getting our lights set up and our clothes on so that we can... Get it cracking. You ready to go? Look at you happy. You think you're gonna get a picture sure, too? Yeah, yes, honey, yes. We had, okay, so I thought three hours was more than enough time, but little did I know, we probably should have booked six. We got most of what we needed done. I still actually have a lot of extra stuff that we didn't get done that I thought we were gonna need it done that I gotta do it this week, but um, I just pray. Let's just do a little prayer that the shots came out good. Dear Lord, sweet baby Jesus, I just pray that the shots we did take today, the pictures that we did take today, Lord, are in our favor. I pray that we love them all. I pray that they all do us flattering service. Does that make sense? I don't know. I pray that we all look great, feel great, and are happy with the outcome, Lord Jesus. And I pray that the pictures that we did not take today, Lord, when we take them again this week, as far as products and everything else, that everyone enjoys them, that they look good, that they make the products look good, and that everyone supports our black owned little family business, Lord, so we can just uh, keep building generational wealth for our uh, community. No, but for a Lord. We had a long day, and I always get nervous when stuff like this happens because I just wanted to go perfectly. I know everything's not gonna go perfectly, but I just wanted to go as perfect as possible. Like I said, this is self funded, and it's a lot of pressure to be successful, you know what I mean? So. Did you create Stilo? What do you mean? Is it your company? It's our company. So, but like, did you make it? Make what? The company. We made it. Who's we? Me and you, we're a team. My company is your company. Uh, anyways, long story short, it is 9.59, 9.49. We gotta go to bed. Tomorrow's Tuesday, Taco Tuesday. We just had Mexican today though. I was gonna go to Mexican tomorrow, but we'll see. I'm definitely gonna keep this wig on because the way I laid it today, <laughs> Uh, one day ain't enough. So I'm gonna try to wrap it real beautifully and try to be snatched tomorrow. She did not like her hair today. Can you, can you peep the outfit? I'm gonna post a picture of this on Instagram so y'all can really see because when I saw her today, she dressed herself and at first, I never liked these pants when she got them. You gave these to me. I bought them, but I thought, I was like, she's never gonna style these right. And she came downstairs today and I knew I was gonna put her hair in this hairstyle and I was like, She's swaggy and don't even know it. So please tell her how swaggy she is right now. She got the space bun, she got the gold hoops, she got the chains on, she got her new little diamond bracelet on, she got the little graffiti art jeans and the Air Forces. And she tried to say, I don't like my hair. Girl, you are a vibe right now. High vibrations, trendy, okay? like. What are you talking about right now? Like a back ponytail would not do this outfit no justice. You gotta switch up the hair. You have beautiful hair to experiment with 
and you need to trust me because what did I have in high school? Trust issues. <laughs> okay, that too, but I got best dressed, so in my old age, I'm not as swaggy as I used to be. But I can't show you my outfit right now because it's actually my pajamas. But I have my Stilo underneath. See? Oh, I look like a brown titty. Let me go to bed. Let me go to bed. It's late. And good night. I will see y'all tomorrow. And um, as soon as I know, I'll let y'all know when that Stilo drops. If you like anything you saw. <laughs> hey, good night. Good night. <laughs> We're at the Porsche dealership. About to go pick up my car. I'm very excited. I hope it doesn't take a long time because it is three o'clock and people got stuff to do. How do I take the keys out? I got them. Oh, you know, she drives a gas powered car. Ugh. All right. It's so pretty. <laughs> the color looks way better in person. Sorry for the call. It's okay. Do you see, so these little things like this is from the film. Uh -huh. If you can park it outside on sunny days, give it a couple weeks and that'll all cure out of there. Okay. If you still notice something in like three weeks from now, then call me and let me know okay. and we'll take care of it. But otherwise you should be fine. It just takes it, those bubbles cure out. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go around it, go over everything with you in just a moment. I just figured I want you to see it before I walked upstairs to get through manuals and everything. Hi, honey. She looks better than I thought. Power meter, or if you want to see the map there. You can see the map there. All right, guys, thank you so much. Ellery, congratulations. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy. Call me anytime. Congrats. Oh, so tiny. Yeah. You're always there for the big purchases in my life. That's why I'm I forced you to come. <laughs> I love you. Congratulations. Love you too. Super nice. Alright, y'all, I'm pulling up to the house. Yoshi hasn't seen this car at all. Like, not what it looks like, not what it's gonna look like. She knows what kind of car I got, but I didn't want to spoil, you know. You know me as surprises. It's like, don't act brand new. So I'm just pulling up to the house. I'm about to call her to come outside. You guys gotta get a reaction. My mom wanted to see, but I was in traffic for an hour and a half. So she ended up just going home. And uh, I told her I would record Yoshi's reaction, so let me call her. I don't have no shoes on. I wore my my Prada boots, and they're too high, and I was scared. I wouldn't know how to drive it right, so I have socks on. Don't judge me. And there's hella pollen outside, too, so I'm going to have to take these socks off as soon as I get that. Oh, look at that, y'all. Look at it. I did I forgot I got that. I couldn't see it in the daylight. I always want a floodlight. All right. One, two... Oh my god! It's so pretty! <laughs> you like the color? Yes! It's so shiny. Good morning. Don't mind all my stuff. You can just throw it on the floor. I got it too to where if you're in the car with me, you can control the music and stuff on it smells new, huh? Yes. It took forever. I know. Worth the wait, though, because it's so pretty. You like the inside color, too? I know you don't really like purple like that, but it's really a Look what you did already. You want me to get it in dirty? What you got in that <laughs> Don't. You ain't got to worry about that, baby. No, don't do that. It's gross. It's all good. I'll take you to school tomorrow in it so you can yeah. fill the drive. But for now, I still have cramps, so let me park in the garage. Can you open the garage door for me? Yeah. Oh, has a little thing. I know, when they're cute. Yeah. So now I just have to find somebody to install a larger plug. But 
I'm happy with her. Her name, oh, I didn't tell you guys the name yet. <laughs> I was going to wait till I got the license plate, but that may take like several weeks. So, you know how um, my Tesla is called Cruella? Um, well, the first one was called Cruella, and then it got totaled, and then I got the same car. So, I call her Cruella Jr. because Cruella had way more features, but I didn't want a car payment. So, that's a whole nother story. But um, I named this one Electra. No? You don't like it? It took me a while. Okay, so... If you don't like it, get used to it. Her name is L Extra. And I'm gonna get prestige plates on her and Cruella. Oh, let me concentrate. Hold on. So coincidentally, I forgot that um she needs bread for her lunch tomorrow. So I'm gonna take her to a quick trip to Publix, but I'm about to show her something right quick. Whopper, 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 whopper. Tell me if you feel something. Feel something? What the <laughs> pull the chair up. Oh my. <laughs> I turned her massage seat on. Can you feel it? It's a massage seat? Yes, girl. Is it massaging you? Yeah, wait, put it on strong. And then you can change the pro. This is, I have a wave. You can, don't, you ain't gonna be doing this every time you get in the car Why? in the morning because. Mama like. Mama like? Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. I've always wanted my car to do that. You can do it to your horse too? Yeah. All right, you fool around with it. It's getting dark, so I'm gonna get to the store and get back. Good morning. Good morning. It's a pretty day outside. It is. What's the temperature? It is now no 81. Oh no, that's better. It's. I don't know. It's warm. Taking the girl to school. She actually was about to be late because she wanted to wear purple to match the car. Very weird. Very weird. Is it? It's. Wait. wait don't. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. What is? What it's not? Is that how you start it? What it's not? What it you know, isn't? You know what it never is? You know what it never is? That's that serious. serious. It's never that serious. It's never that serious, sis. But today is Wednesday. She's supposed to go with her dad tomorrow. So today we're gonna film a video, get her room together, and what do you want for dinner? Pusquetti. We don't have, we didn't get no tomato sauce. Technically you need to go back because there's no bread. That's true. So after school, we'll stop by the store. We went to the store last night, didn't even get no bread. So I have to stop by the store tonight, get some bread, and then we'll get some tomato sauce. Hope you have a good day at school. Thank you. Look at my pretty girl. Home from school. Home from school well. That sounded terrible. <laughs> I usually have way more bars than that, but I wasn't prepared. How was school? It was cool. Bars. <laughs> Why do you always go to the store when I head home? Why don't you go while I'm in school? Because I work while you're in school. But like... <sighs> I literally have been at the computer since I dropped her off. Like, from the moment I dropped you off, I sat at the computer. I got up at like 12.30 to take a shower. Sat back at the computer. So, don't... What do you think I'd be doing all day? Just sitting at home watching Netflix? Oh gosh, she's acting like that lady letting all these buses out. Oh lordy Jesus, why would you forsake me? He's letting all the buses out. He doing what Granny Smith do, holding up traffic. These buses weren't even coming out the parking lot yet. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not even gonna rant to y'all again. Anyways. Three days later. Good afternoon, y'all. I have no idea where I last left off recording because I was like unplugged all weekend. I had a friend in town, so we were kind of just like all over all weekend. And you know, sometimes you just want to unplug. So I unplugged. However, it is Monday now. I'm about to pick up Yoshi from school. Usually I work while she's at school, but you know, sometimes the weekend you just need one, two days max to like get your strength and energy back up. So since I knew this was going to be my last morning to sleep in, I took full advantage. And I didn't do anything this morning, but I'm gonna be productive when she's home. It's gonna be another busy week. Besides filming, um, I've said previously I'm preparing for a wedding this weekend. I'm not in it, but Yoshi is, so I have to get her hair and everything together for that. But I have to attend the bridal shower on Saturday. I still have to upload all the pictures that we took for Stilo to the website, swap everything out, change some things around. I still have to take product shots, make teasers. That's my goal, um, my goals for this week. Cause next week, still busy. I have more friends coming in town that I'm gonna have to entertain. They're like my best, best friends. So I don't really have to entertain them too much, but just show them a good time. And 
I have to get my house in order for that. I'm gonna get some things together and then maybe have the cleaners come so that their rooms will be good. Cause one of my friends is bringing her kids. Actually, I don't even know what day she's coming. I digress. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna be expecting company and then obviously I have to pack and prepare for my birthday trip as well. And I'm also having a birthday party the weekend before I leave. So March is looking real active for me. And I just have to make sure I balance it all so that I'm not like super stressed out, which I'm not on track right now, but I still, the day's not over. I still have time to get it together, so. Hello. Hi. How was school? Good. How was your weekend? Good. So what's going on? Off of school. What? Off of school. Off of school what? Off of school. What do you mean? I'm off of school Friday and Monday. Why? I don't know. What do you mean? I have to check on that girl, because that sounds real suspicious. They told us. Friday's a holiday and Monday is something. Uh, sketch. Real sketch. I mean, I hope you are because Sunday's a wedding, so I'd love to not have to wake up in the morning, but wake you just had days off, so. Let's right. see what the hair looks like. No. Let's see what the no. hair is looking like. In your dreams, I only need $10. Oh, speaking of money, guess what? You remember when he said if dad gave you money, I could get Robux? So he gave me ten dollars because on when he picked me up from school, I betted he had told me he would go to the store. I betted he wouldn't because we also had to go see Grammy, and she lives kind of far. We literally shook hands and everything on ten dollars that he wouldn't go to the store. He never went to the store, so he gave me my ten dollars. And then I had told him that I got a million words, and he gave me five more dollars. So now I have well, fifteen dollars in Robux. I I never said that. He get whatever money he gives you is going to Robux. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You, you said, said you wanted ten dollars, and I said you're with him. Ask him. I will give you ten dollars. I'm not about to just fund Robux. That's not gonna happen. Never will hold happen. Up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't hold care up, if up. you get a hundred dollars tomorrow. Hold I'm up, not up. spending it. You're not spending it on hold Robux. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fifteen. Fifteen. No, please. I'm not doing fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> fifteen. If you're gonna be anything in life, be for real. Exactly, be for real. Because you're the brokest friend I have. Yeah, you asked me for the most money. You know what? Bombastic, side eye. Ballistic, side eye. Criminal defensive, side eye. Nobody knows what you're talking about. Nobody Everybody cares. Everybody does. You're nobody, the only one who knows. Nobody knows. Nobody cares. Everybody knows. Because you know what? It's never. I got you <laughs> onto that. That's serious. That's what it's never. Okay? Be so, for real. You be for real. I feel like the effects of this hour jump is kind of like just now hitting me. Cause where's the time? Where's the time going? When we got home, me and Yoshi had got sushi from, my hair's a hot mess. I'm getting it done next week, I cannot wait. Um, we got sushi from Publix, ate that, watched RuPaul's Drag Race, and then she went to sleep, like she was napping. And then I got caught up in a little TV. Then got on the computer to edit a video and ended up working on the website instead. So still haven't done what I'm supposed to do today, but it's still only nine o'clock. I'm still gonna try to be in bed by 11, but I'm still gonna work on what I said I was gonna work on today. I just made us some spaghetti because she wanted it for the past two weeks. And at this time we were finally able to make the spaghetti. She better like it. It's nine o'clock. Normally I would be having her like go to bed, but I cooked a little late because she slept so long that I knew she wasn't gonna like be sleeping when it was her bedtime. She told you to wash your hair when you were in the shower. I don't know why I didn't do that. Cause ma'am, what am I supposed to do with Picture that? Picture days on Wednesday. This Wednesday? Well, you'll be having a ponytail. Get the French braided. I'm not doing all that for a picture day. We don't even get the pictures out. You have like six years worth of picture day pictures in the closet that we've never given one picture out for. I don't even know why I keep buying it. How's the spaghetti? I'm good. How good spaghetti? It's top rate spaghetti. Rate it. 15. 15? You sure? You just telling me that. No, you would be honest, huh? Yeah. It wouldn't be a 20 if you got me a drink. Well, I guess 15 will do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not bad. First day back on the mom job. Got a 15. Light work, you know what I'm saying? You know, I didn't even really try, you feel me? I just, you know, did the old regular degular schmegular. Hit a 20 out. Pew, pew, pew. That's what I do. Uh, comes natural. Comes easy to me, baby. Anyways, we're about to eat. This is, and probably call it night. Obviously, I'm at work, but nothing to see there. Tomorrow, the guy is supposed to in, install my charger for my my car. 
And he said I might not have power for like two to three hours. So that's really gonna put a damper in my day. I'm gonna try to open packages and um, I wanted to do my nails, but I'm gonna use my UV light or my or my or my my drill. I need the power. So I don't know how that's gonna work. I'm gonna try to figure it out because I can't sit around and do nothing for another three hours. I've done nothing for the past two days. Like it's time to work. It's time to work. Oh, I can use my laptop. Charge my laptop. I can work on my website while the power's out. Even though my laptop only lasted for like five seconds. And then I'll just have to finish my video when he's done. See, see how I figured that out all by my big self. All right, say good night. Good night. We love you. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye bye. So here's the charger, and I'm annoyed because it took them like it felt like seven hours to install, and my power was out with, for four of them, and they put it in upside down because they put the plug too low. So it couldn't even be fixed at that point because the charger would have to be all the way down there, which I should have made a fuss about, but I was so like ready to get my life back. I didn't. Now I just gotta figure out some way to get this cord to like be against the wall because I don't like how it looks stressed. Irritated with myself because I should have told him to fix it. $2,500, fix it. Then he gonna say, where's this piece go? Bro, you got the instructions? It's a whole book, I don't know. And now I'm finding out that I think it's supposed to go right here to hold the cord if it was the right way. And this thing closes to like secure it. So anyways, I'm just glad I'm all plugged up now. This car has a front charger port. There's one on this side and the other side. They say that other side is slower and this side is faster. Not sure why they would make them two different speeds because who would use the slow one but that's why i put the charger up here as opposed to on the side back there because cruella's is on the side because her charging port is back here they actually had a bigger charger than that that's kind of like my my tesla hardwire one but it was fifteen hundred dollars baby we've spent it up we are done okay you're done. And I opened my packages finally. I'm gonna give you guys a brief run through of some of the new stuff. Well, this is like stuff from the last month. And somebody asked me why I don't do unboxes anymore. And I didn't do them anymore because I thought they were boring. But since that one person asked me, I'm gonna give you a little quick unboxing, okay? Everything's already unboxed though. I made it a little easier and just set everything out on the table. I think this is from Shopify. Well, it says Shopify. Bill Black with Shopify. And it has like black owned brands in here. This is, oh, it's not good. This is a candle, I don't even, oh. Oh, this is, no wonder, it's from Forever Mood. Jackie Anna's brand, it smells really good. It smells like pumpkin, pumpkin spice, that's what it smells like. Topicals, eye masks. I haven't worn eye masks in so long, so I'll give these a try. I've heard of topicals, because when I did the black beauty effect, um, I think the owner was in the, documentary we got some miel rosemary mint oil I actually just ran out of this upstairs so I'm actually very happy to see you the bottle I have upstairs was the first time I used it and it knocked over on my counter and spilled everywhere so I barely got to use it but I like the way it smells and feels on my hair so and it's only ten dollars a lot of hair oils for natural hair are expensive so I love me a good deal Element, I've never heard of this brand, but this is really cute. I think it's an anklet. It's really cute, it's a nice gold. And then lastly, oh, it's a card game called Hella Awkward. A conversation card game, 140 questions made to deepen connections and simulate memorable moments all while having a good damn time. I never heard of this brand either, but I love a good card game. My friends love stuff like this, so this is cute. Shout out to Shopify for highlighting black owned brands. Definitely need the exposure. Maybe one day I'll be in here. Put you guys a little sweat suit or sweat up in here. Most of the rest of the stuff is makeup. This caboodle is so cute. I'll probably put stickers on it to hide the bad words and give this to Yoshi because she's growing her little collection. Better than sex mascara, still one of my faves. Glad for the re-up because I didn't have any more left. This is from Salon Perfect. Schlick Wax Like a Pro. Ooh. I don't know if I noticed, but I'm in a waxing now. Like I wax um, Yoshi. So this is, ooh, and this is like a little cup to melt the beads in. 
Candle smells good. Coconut soy, little waxing stick, and hard wax beads. And I'm gonna start waxing my armpits. Cause you guys know I'm always trying to find a way to not pay. Bars. All right, this is from Nails Inc. It's a bunch of nail polish. Let me open up. This is a lot of plastic. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't open all this. But these are all nail polishes right here. Even though I use gel polish, sometimes I'll bust out the regular polish for Yoshi or myself when I'm in between nails. And then they have these masks. I've never even heard of a boob sheet mask, uh, a butt sheet mask, a tummy sheet mask. Oh, I'm not a coochie one. Then they have some for the face. I'm gonna have to check these out because I didn't even know we needed to mask all these areas. I'm pretty basic, I guess. Then over here, we got Alicia Keys brand, Truly Becoming Multi-Benefit Peptide Serum. I'll have to look this up, but I do love me a good serum. So I'll probably add this to the bathroom and try it out. Next to her, we have a bunch of brushes. I never heard of this brand, but it looks really cute. It came with all these little pouches and makeup brushes inside. I love these little bags for traveling. Like I wish all brands, I, you can never have enough of these. And I got a little travel brush wash, which I need in a big size. And then they have all their individual brushes over here. Neck treatment brush, deep cleansing brush, all over treatment brush. Like where have I been? Then over here we have Fenty's Lippies. I already took one of these out because I was hecka thirsty to get that red. But I haven't tried uh, these colors yet, so. The red was good. I wore it not too long ago. Only thing is it smeared a lot because it's not a, um, what's, what's it called? It's not a, I don't even know the term anymore. I'm getting old. You know, the mats that don't come off, it's not one of those, it's a soft mat. So it's matte, but it, it does move. So that was the only thing that I didn't like about it because, you know, I be tipsy and I don't want red all over my face. And I kept having to fix my lipstick because I was, you know, drinking and laughing and jiving. So color is bomb. So beggars can't be choosers. Then over here we have Benefit Cosmetics. Their poor fashion line they just came out with. I think they went on a brand ship for this. When I was cool, I got to go on those trips. <laughs> But um, I'm excited about this, especially this, because I'm trying to sway away from makeup wipes and use something liquid to loosen up the makeup first. Benefit usually has really good products. Then over here we have Kayali. She just came out with a pistachio gelato scent. She's so pretty and they're so nice. I'm nervous about this. I actually want to smell this because I don't ever recall wanting to smell like pistachio, but I'm thinking like maybe I'm overthinking it. Let me open this. Here's the bottle. Super cute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I like that. I never would think I would like those together, but something about that is, that might be my new little daytime thing. I might have to try it out. I have to get a second opinion on it before I tell you guys if it's if it's doing what I think it's doing. Then we got some True Match by L'Oreal. I don't think any of these are my shade, but I have heard good things about their True Match. And plus, I like L'Oreal's brand. Their skincare is really good and their hair care. So I'm gonna have to find my shade at the grocer. Peter Thomas Roth, that's, this is like one of the first brands I bought when I was like really getting into skincare. I used to buy that gold mask that they have. I used to feel so opulent. This is a Instant Firm No Filter Primer. I'm actually low on primer as well. So once again, right on time. Then we got some Huda Beauty. I love these little square shadows. There's some eyeliners, so pretty. That makeup is gorgeous. They are two matte shadow palettes and they will be used because I love me a good matte look and I love these colors. Because they're so small and they have the colors that I usually wear, I always travel with her square shadows. We got some lippies from NYX. Fat oil, look like oil lippies. And then some matte cream lippies over here. We got a palette from Too Faced. Italian spritz. This looks fun. We have some stuff from Milk Makeup, which I haven't even got a package from them since I lived here. We got some primer, some grip primer, makeup removing cleanser. Yes, baby, yes. Black eyeliner. Never have enough black eyeliner pencils. 
Kush Mascara. I've used this before back in the day, if this is the same formula. And some clear brow gel. Never have too many of these, plus Yoshi uses these too, and she takes all of mine. And some cream blushes, and these colors are really pretty. But yeah, that's it for now. Make sure you guys check out next week's video. I'm doing my POV from the wedding. It's probably gonna be a shorter vlog, because it was kind of a short weekend. Um, plus Yoshi's posting her POV of the wedding tomorrow. So check that out on Thursday. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, love ya. And y'all better not be talking about my ash, okay? I'm gonna get some lotion.